Good afternoon and welcome to Williams Dog Training Company. We're here today with Fred and Reese and what we're going to be demonstrating for you today is Reese's ability to understand and respond to his obedience commands, the corrections and motivations that we give him while we're working with him, and the training equipment that we're using. Fred is using a regular six foot web training leash and he keeps the bulk of that leash folded neatly in his right hand, leaving his left hand free to give the correction. The correction that we give is a tug and let go on the training collar, which is the second piece of equipment that we're using. Reese has been fitted with his own personal training collar and we'll show you how to properly use this during your one-on-one -on -one lesson. As you can see, Reese is seated very nicely on Fred's left, which is where all our obedience training is done. The first exercise we're going to demonstrate is healing. Healing is proper walking on a leash. Fred and Reese are taking off doing that now. The command is Reese heal. We've incorporated into this an automatic sit. Anytime Fred stops his feet, Reese will sit. There's one right there. There's another automatic sit. It's important during the healing that Reese walks nicely on your left and doesn't pull you or lag behind, but keeps at your pace on your left hand side. Very good. The next exercise we're going to demonstrate is the stay command. The stay is a hand and voice command. Fred is going to use the open flat of his left palm about an inch or so from Reese's muzzle and the one word command to stay. Stay. He then walks out to the end of the training leash and Reese remains seated nicely. It's a good exercise to practice starting at about a minute and building your way up to three to help build that self-control. When Fred returns back to Reese, he'll walk all the way around him and back into heel position and Reese will remain seated nicely throughout the entire exercise until given another command. Good job. And they're going to take off healing. We'll demonstrate that again for you. There's an automatic sit. Another automatic sit there. Gives him the stay and out to the end of the training leash. And this time, instead of returning back to Reese, he'll demonstrate the recall or the come command and call him in using his name. Comes in, sits nicely in front, and then we have an exercise called the finish. He'll heal all the way around the back of Fred and right back into heel position, seated nicely on the left hand side. Okay. Excellent job. We'll demonstrate again. Leave him in a sit stay out to the end of the training leash. Call him into you. He comes in and sits. And then he'll do the finish by walking all the way around the back of you and right back into heel position on your left hand side, seated nicely. Excellent job. We're going to take off healing again. Now we're going to demonstrate our down commands. The first one is down from a heel position. Fred's going to use the open flat of his left palm straight down towards the ground and the one word firm command to down. He then gives him a stay and out to the end of the training leash. This is a good exercise to practice at home to build that self-control. You can start at about three minutes and build your way up to five. When Fred returns back to Reese, he'll walk all the way around him as he did on the sit stay back into heel position and Reese remains down throughout the entire exercise until given another command. Excellent job. We'll demonstrate that again for you. It's a good time to remind you to practice all of your commands inside or outside your home 15 to 20 minutes a day just to keep them fresh in Reese's mind. Gives him the down and the stay out to the end of the training leash. This time he'll demonstrate that recall command again. Call him in. Comes in nicely, sits right in front. And then he'll perform the finish by healing around the back of you. Or right back into heel position on the left hand side. Shakes it out and then sits nicely.
give them a second to get lined up for our down from a distance, which will be the final command. You leave him in a sit, give him a stay, out to the end of the training leash. This will be the only time you use your right hand to give the command. Fred will drop Reese into a down from the end of the training leash. Excellent job. He then returns back to him by walking all the way around again and back into heel position. We've demonstrated for you today the obedience commands that Reese has learned here at school. It's been a pleasure working with Reese and thank you again for choosing Williams Dog Training Company as your personal dog trainer.